Now, so uh, the third thing that I want to demonstrate is using a better editor. And one of the uh, most popular editors that's available is this thing called Atom. And um, <clears throat> Atom is a sort of hackable program as editor. Again, it's free, you can download it for free. Um, I'm just going to fire it up and uh, just give it a second. Now, one of the nice things about um, Atom is that it's a very lightweight editor. So this is a replacement for Notepad++. And what you can do with it is you can configure it for all sorts of um, different programming languages. So let me load in um, PHP Errors 3. So again, this is the same um, programming code with those errors in it. And what you'll notice is we're getting lots of little red dots here. And what these red dots are doing is they're trying to suggest there might be errors in the PHP code. Now, um, these kind of editors um, actually enable you to do this thing that's called, um, um, <clears throat> it's like uh, the process is called this thing that's called a linter. And what a linter does is it sort of does a, um, it's called a static code analysis. So it's actually not running the code. What it's trying to do is it's just looking at the code very statically, trying to identify where the syntax errors are. Now, the way that this works in Atom is that you have these things called packages. So you install Atom and then you add in the packages, the ones that you actually particularly want to make it work. So, for example, here, uh, if I go into settings and I go into uh, packages. So if I wanted to install a package, I would tap on the install uh, icon there, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go into the packages so you can see. And the one that we're actually interested in here um, is the, uh, if I scroll down, IDE PHP. And if I install that particular package, and then what we have to do is we have to edit the settings. And this is a little bit tricky, but what you have to do is you have to point the um, package at the executable for PHP. So what the editor does is it actually uses the PHP program to try and work. It sort of runs the code through the program to try and find out where the syntax errors are. So I'll just go through that again. What you would do is you would in download and install Atom. You'd tap on install. You'd install this particular package, IDE PHP, go into the settings, and then you have to point it at your particular PHP executable, which is here. So you would just find it in Finder. And when you've done that, and it's working OK, this is what you will see. Uh, so inside Atom, so what it's doing now, the Atom editor is passing my code um, to the PHP editor, and it's looking at the error messages that are coming back. And so you can see we've got some errors here. And if I hover over the exclamation mark, you can see it says syntax error, unexpected print. So again, what it's trying to suggest is that there's a problem at the end of this line. And you can see it's saying semicolon unexpected. So if I watch what happens if I put the semicolon in, hopefully the red dots will go away. There we go. And now let's have a look here. It says unexpected weather. So we know that if we just read along, we know there's a problem here. So I put the dot in, that one goes away. Then I've got an error here saying unexpected brace. So again, I look at the code and I go, oh yeah, I can see there's a brace missing here. And there it is. It's detected all the syntax errors in my PHP code. And I haven't had to go to the browser and run the code over and again. And this is really helpful for when you're actually writing code on the fly. You know, it's very easy to do something like you do this and, it, and then you're in the code. And you, oh, no, wait a minute. I've made a mistake. I can see there's a very obvious visual indicator, unexpected um, semicolon. So what's happening here? 
is that this is all being parsed incorrectly. I need to go back and I need to pop that back in. Actually, I'll take that out again. Just, just watch what happens. Because sometimes um, the error messages won't be correct. So here it's actually saying unexpected semicolon. And so I could spend a lot of time looking here trying to work out what's going wrong. What we need to always do is trace along the line and remember to always look at the previous line as well. Because sometimes the code syntax checker, you know, it's not an AI engine, it's pretty dumb, it'll do its best, the best it can. But this definitely tells me the location roughly of where the error is, and it will tend to give me the right error message. But it doesn't, it's not always correct, so just watch out for that. So I'll put that back in, and there we are. Now there are no obvious error messages in here. But again, we still got that issue. If I was to save this and run it, now there would be a logic issue. And that this is one of these places where I might start putting some print statements in to try and find out why my variables weren't working quite the way I wanted them to. And it's this thing here again, it's equals equals. So if I save that and then bring it up again, it works the way that we expect it to.